Five people were killed and two others were assaulted in Northern California between December 1968 and October 1969 by a man whose identity has remained a mystery for decades. The murderer, who identified himself with a zodiac sign in a series of cryptic and egotistical letters to authorities, claimed to have slain 37 people in all. There is little chance that any of the crimes will be solved at this time, although investigations remain open in a number of California counties. On the 22nd of December 1970, a man called Rafael Edward Cruz was born about 1,300 miles from where the killing spree started. He would eventually become a senator of Texas and a leading Republican presidential contender in 2016. An increasing number of internet sleuths, conspiracy theorists, and absurdist comedians are aggressively pushing the claim that Ted Cruz is the famed Zodiac Killer. Despite the absurdity of this allegation, we must now deal with it since an increasing number of media sites have commented on the phenomenon. In fact, if you type, is Ted Cruz into Google, one of the most prominent results is now the Zodiac Killer. But how and where did this ridiculous theory start? Ted Cruz, a politician with conservative views, grew up in Houston, Texas, and later attended Princeton University and Harvard Law School. Cruz advised on George W. Bush's presidential campaign in 2000 and was appointed Texas Solicitor General in 2003. He was elected to the Senate in 2012 with Tea Party backing and orchestrated a government shutdown over Obamacare. Cruz was re-elected to the Senate in 2018, after losing his attempt for the 2016 Republican presidential nomination to Donald Trump. When did the meme start? In 2013, Cruz made a speech in which he pledged to help repeal the Affordable Care Act's financing. During the address, he responded to John McCain's description of him as a wacko bird by saying, count me as a proud wacko bird. At this point, the unforgiving internet took over. While Cruz was speaking at the Conservative Political Action Conference and promised to dismantle the Affordable Care Act, a Twitter user posted the meme for the first time. The specific tweet was, Alert, Ted Cruz is speaking. His speech is titled, This is the Zodiac speaking. The meme was forgotten until Cruz one year later stated, The biggest regulatory threat to the internet is net neutrality. In short, net neutrality is Obamacare for the internet. This is when the mock conspiracy resurfaced and started to gain traction. A Facebook page named Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer was created on December 15, 2015 and received over 9,400 likes over the following two months. On January 20, 2016, at Linzetta on Twitter posted a fabricated quotation of Cruz admitting to the Zodiac Killer. That same evening, at Zeppo Wilbury tweeted that Cruz was born in Calgary, Canada, and that the Zodiac Killer's first victims were called Cal and Gary. In 2016, while Cruz was running to become the next president of the United States, the meme took off and started going viral. National Public Radio reported in 2016 that the majority of meme participants understood Cruz is not the Zodiac Killer. The piece reads, But they say it's all about a feeling they have about Cruz. They think he's creepy, and they want to emphasize this as plainly as possible. Tim Faust, an activist, began selling Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer t-shirts to raise funds for an organization that helps women have access to safe and inexpensive abortions in retaliation for the senator's strong anti-abortion stance. Faust said that he discovered the theory through Twitter and ran with the idea. A romantic novel about Ted Cruz and the Zodiac Killer was also written. 
In a 2016 poll, public policy polling questioned Florida registered voters whether Ted Cruz may be the elusive Zodiac, and 10% felt he was, and 28% were uncertain. The meme went all the way to the White House, when Larry Wilmore made references to the meme during the White House Correspondents' Dinner in April 2016, including a joke that Ted Cruz was not trying to win the nomination, but to continue a murder spree. In 2018, Cruz got in on the action with some tweets of his own. Cruz was replying to a series of tweets prompted by Senator Ben Sasse's revelation during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing, saying that he had just spilled Dr. Pepper on Cruz. One Twitter user informed the Nebraska Republican that if he were sitting with the son of the guy who killed Kennedy, I might do worse than spill some Dr. Pepper. This tweet referred to a flimsy conspiracy theory claiming that Cruz's father helped Lee Harvey Oswald distribute pamphlets supporting Fidel Castro around three months before Oswald apparently assassinated President John F. Kennedy. Sass responded with his own sarcasm, stating that he was wearing a t-shirt that said Lee Harvey Oswald was framed when he spilled the Dr. Pepper on Cruz. Cruz responded to Sass's statement with a picture of a Zodiac killer cipher letter in an effort to be humorous. And Twitter didn't think it was funny. Cruz went at it again when Gary F. Post was identified as the serial killer who terrorized the San Francisco Bay region during the late 1960s by a team of 40 former law enforcement detectives, journalists, and military intelligence operatives known as the Case Breakers. The researchers reportedly managed to connect Post forensically to the murders and also unearthed photographs from his dark room that revealed he had a similar facial scar to the Zodiac Killer's drawing. Some of the uncovered photographs dated back to 1963. Check out our video on Post to get the full story. After the latest suspect was identified, Cruz retweeted the Hill's account of the story with a gif of Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, seeming sheepish. The meme is a perfect example of when your ego takes over, the internet will ground you in a brutal fashion. There is no possibility that the politician is the Zodiac. What Cruz is guilty of is ruining the meme by playing along.